Hello, and thanks for tuning in. Curious about the origins of the members of Team Reaper? Well, we have an exclusive just for you. Now introducing Team Reaper. Once upon a time, there was a gnome, and his name was Rexel von Chomsky Sajenstein McPuffet. But you won't find my story in the library quite yet, because it's still being written. Act 1. Growing up in the Temple to Denier, god of scribes and writers, I learned all about history, science, culture, and philosophy, while I copied books over from fading to fresh pages. Then in Act 2, I, um, caught the nomophage. Not optimal, but I got back on my feet, and even though my legs aren't as strong as they once were, my mind is still as sharp as my quill, and I built this nifty set of armor to boot. So what's Act 3? For starters, enter the dungeon sphere with my friends and keep them safe. And when I get to the end, I'll wish for all of the gnomish books, scrolls, and stories lost to history because of the gnomophage. So you'd best study up, because you'll be reading my name for a long time to come. My name is Brana Ironbeard. I use the power and insight of my ancestors to protect the ones I love and make a mean ale. I, along with my seven siblings, help my parents run Ironbeard's Metalworks, crafting only the finest of dwarven goods, including the shield and warhammer that I carry to this day. Throughout my life, my ancestors have led me and shown me the way of the Ironbeard clan, but their guidance did not help when my twin brother fell ill and I could not save him as I had throughout our lives. After crafting many of the weapons my teammates currently use, I just had to ensure their proper usage, and so found myself in the sphere. If I win the dungeon sphere, my greatest wish is to bring Andrew back. For Clan Ironbeard! Greetings to everyone watching from home. My name is Umbrano Ryan, an envoy of the House Silronia. Along with my friends, I will be joining the Dungeon Sphere on Team Reaper. At this point, I'm sure everyone has heard the buzz of the first ever War Forge built right here on the Material Plane. That's right, I was constructed right here in Shield City. My initial designs were optimized for moving unnoticed through the dark, but after the Shadowfell Shard that powers my body unexpectedly began to manifest actual magic, I started pursuing the Arcane instead. I have entered this year's Dungeon Sphere to show all of you the genius of Lord Silronia and his amazing discovery of the first ever sentient magical automated citizen. Between you and me, I have selfishly entered pursuing the wish at the end of the dungeon. The soul that pilots this body hopes to recover the identity of someone once dear to them. But regardless, I'm looking forward to everyone's support of Team Reaper during the trials ahead. See you on the sphere! Welcome, we're a traveler. Come take a seat by the fire. My name is Kanari Lynn Harith. I am a guardian for the wanderers of Shield City, those without homes or those that stray far from them. And Celestian tells me to look after them, guarding and guiding them under the watch of the stars. If living in a temple has taught me anything, it's that everyone is looking for something. Some look for healing, and others search for treasure, but almost everyone needs a friend. A simple conversation can change the course of your life. I'm a firm believer that anything can be solved by sitting by a crackling fire, watching the sun set and the stars come out. I'm hoping that by entering the Dungeon Sphere, I'm able to solve a few more problems. I, I want to use my wish to establish a permanent refuge for all of the people of the Magisterium in Celestian's name. Everyone deserves a chance in life. Now, uh, you hungry? I've got a pot of stew in a bowl with your name on it.
Hey, how you doing? My name's Matilda Everhart, but you can call me Moxie. In fact, I insist. If you spent any time down in the pits and shady corners of Shield City, you've probably heard my name. When I'm not kicking ass and taking names in the ring, I can be found doing odd jobs for the Order of the Owls. I joined the nest when I was 10 and grew up in the Northern Temple in the Magisterium where I learned my special brand of fast feet and healing hands. I struck out on my own and been growing my name and friends in the big city ever since. I've entered the dungeon sphere to prove once and for all that I am the best. After all, what better way to prove it than by winning the ultimate deathmatch? Once we win, I guess I'll be wishing for some lost memories, but those are nothing compared to the bragging rights. To any competition out there, I say bring it on. And of course, I would never let my best friend Kanari go into the dungeon sphere without me. Who else would protect her?